Welcome back to White Knight. What? Why did it go out? Damn match. Come on. Alright, let's go look at where we saw the ghost of Selena. Grab a couple, a couple extra matches while we're here. I guess the matches just have a random chance to not quite light correctly if you use them. Yeah, this is where I saw her. Solitary Sons. Poetry. The last thing I had in mind. Let's see if we can find a light switch. William Vesper's Diary, excerpt number 9. May 11th, 1928. It has been a year already since Sarah died of pneumonia. A few months after Winterstone became disabled following his heart attack. They were my only friends. Today the house is empty, like every day, filled only with my own echoes and these things I don't want to hear anymore. I miss father so much. I still see him, playing by my side. I see him put his hands on the piano keys, humming as he was playing music. I think about leaving, but then I wonder. What would that change anyway? Night is everywhere. She would find me. First, I have to make my big plan come true and learn how to live again. I listen to Jack Hylton's Wonderful You, and I realize I've never had anyone to play with. This is what I need. Some company. A companion. The city is so close. I guess it is time to leave. They have electricity and light there. So I believe this was from, from before he met Selena. By two or three years, I think. Yeah, so at one point everybody around him had died and... William... The son of Henry and Margaret was the only one left in the house. Oh, come on. W. Vesper. He had the stare of a broken man. A lost soul. Looked broken and dangerous. Nope, no light for this room. A log. A good start if I wanted to start a fire. Well, I have the matches. The fire could be an ally, but I needed to find some wood. You don't say! I needed more wood to get the fire really roaring. Oh, that was the only log here? Yeah, I guess I have to find some logs somewhere else. What if I did this? Is this just, just to pick it up, or... I still need to some more wood? Okay. Yeah, I just gotta find some more logs. If the match was a nuisance, I could put it out by pressing B repeatedly. Oh. I don't know why I did that. I guess I should probably light it again. I think I need the fire going to actually open this, right? I, I guess I can't do it if I have the match, and I if I take out the match, obviously I can't see. Uh, let's just test it to be sure. So let's get right next to it, put it out, and then try to use it. Couldn't see anything, yeah, okay. The menu for the dinner seemed to be a good 20 years late.
Note to self, kitchen key. My dear friend, For the lack of sleep erodes your sanity as well as your memory. I hereby decide to put the kitchen key in this book of recipes father loved so much. It is in the library, and won't move from there, which will prevent you from having to make extra keys again. Please start by trying not to lose this note. Your devoted servant, yourself, William. He wrote a note to himself? It says note to self. My dear friend, myself. Your devoted servant, yourself, William. Weirdo. Okay, recipe book in the library, gotcha. I believe the library was locked last time I tried to go in there, but... I don't know, maybe it's mysteriously unlocked. A landscape frozen in time, quite like the faces around it. Anything on the table? Oh. There's some food on the table. That plate was abandoned to the flies. Okay, two ways to go. Let's check this place first. Actually, let's get some matches first. Goddamn door. Too heavy for me to breach it. Especially with my bad leg. So, you don't want to breach the door with your bad leg, but uh, you don't mind pushing a two-ton marble statue? Okay. Okay. So I think we need to go into the other door, yeah. So two doors opened mysteriously. Yeah, this was one of the doors that opened mysteriously. This was the other. Let's look for a light switch. Who could hang the picture of a headless woman on the wall? I wish I could see the picture. Or maybe I don't. In the eyes of the old man, you could see wisdom and sadness. Margaret Vesper. N Ni? Na? Whatever you pronounce that. A woman as noble as cold. I don't know what I just looked at. What, what did I just look at? Was that looking through the camera? Whoa. Vesper Incorporated. And this is good old Boston, the home of the bean and the cod, where the lowells talk only to cabots, and the cabots talk only to God. What the heck? Memories Vesper Ventercross. Hmm, I guess I can assemble this or something. February 8th, 1910. Vesper's Legacy, a gift from the past. Elected the best company of the year. Oh my. It seems this could be quite large. Holy crap. Hmm. 
Margaret and Henry Vesper, two strangers pretending to be married. Oh, oh. Okay, I think I should run. I think I'm safe in the light. As long as the light doesn't go out, let me stay by the switch. Okay, is it gone? Wait, there's another camera? Yeah, some more. Oh god, now a face is scratched out. No, please no. August 18th, 1900. A great day for both of our families. I'm guessing that's when Henry and Margaret got married, I want to say. Note to self, Mother's Shadows. I think that's what I just saw. I think I just saw Mother's Shadow attempting to kill me. Mother's Shadows will never go away. I understand it now. Calling them ghosts would still be too noble. It is a filth that strives in the dark like flies on manure. As long as I am alive, they will never go away. Huh. Mother's Shadows. Would seem to be symbolic of her influence, her most likely poisonous influence, on William. Although they seem to be manifest manifesting literally. I feel like she's still going to be here if I if I go. Margaret's diary, excerpt nineteen. And this is good old Boston, the home of the. Wait, I already read this. A Boston Toast by John Collins Bosity, Boston Brahmins Anthem. She's still here, isn't she? No? Is that her shoe? A high heel shoe. Maybe its owner was still around here. Yeah, I think I found her. Guess she's gone. Oh no, she's still here. Okay, so she's basically a like a she's essentially a locked door, telling me I can't go through there until I've done something else. Gotcha. However, that doesn't mean I can't try to go through here. Oh wait, this just connected around here, didn't it? Wait, have I been here before? Where am I? Yeah, I have. This is just a door I didn't go through. Oh. Hmm. What if I run past her? I don't think I can run past her. Oh shit. I don't think you're supposed to run past her. No, um... I could really use more wood. But I can't seem to find any. Let's see if we can go to the library to find that key. I swear the door's locked before, but again, maybe it just mysteriously reopened. Let's grab some... some matches. This place was too dangerous to walk without light. Yep, locked. Okay, so I need wood to light the fire to open up the box. I need a key to open up the smaller box. Um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Did I miss a hot spot, I wonder? Have I missed a door? Just take a quick run around. Could always check my diary in a second. I'm also looking for a record, I suppose, to get this thing going, right? Yeah. She wants to sing, I think. Wait, it looks like wood. Oh, that is wood. Okay, hopefully two logs are enough. Still more wood for the fireplace. I was looking forward to the light. Is it enough? Okay, it is. Excellent. It would do the trick, but for how long? Eh, wood should last for at least a couple hours. Okay. She'll allow us to enter this. Oh, I could break some things open. Oh, that's cool. Break it. Break it. Hurt. Hurt. Ah, there's a record. Yes. A bunch of stuff. Looks like a diary entry from Selena. Mm hmm. From Selena to William. Excerpt number two. In September 1934, during a concert at the Red Bait, we meet Jim Erziker, a producer whose label, Two Roads, is becoming prominent. After the show, he tells me I have a marvelous voice and that my Norwegian accent brings something unique to our African American jazz music that it is enough to get the attention of amateurs and curious listeners. I have to admit, Norwegian jazz singers are not that many, but I can't really believe he would hire us. But he does. He suggests we name the band Selena and the Frozen Sons. I am to be paid for singing. Everything looks so simple. Dad used to say that anything can grow in California. I feel like a flower finding its way through the snow. But my parents are not happy for me. I think they are homesick, but I am 22. Life is an adventure, and I don't know much about life. I know nothing of pain, for example. Everything changes. Lipstick, crucifix, astronomy books. Such treasure. Touching that disc was warm and comforting. I felt an urge to listen to it. I think that's it. Mm hmm. Oh, come on. That music. Its mere presence gave me hope. jazz record. Selena Sandvik. The key she left me was an invitation. Was she trying to help me? Or was I heading towards even more troubles? I 
had to focus. Surviving is a full-time job. Not the kind of job you can afford to lose. I think she's trying to help me to help her. A key was an invitation, but to which world? Okay, what will this open? It's quite a few things. Let's try the small box. I feel like it's probably to the small box. Actually, it seems like quite a large key for that. It's probably to the library. But let's try the small box anyway. I should probably save. I really like the save mechanic. I think it's pretty cool. I like that they integrated the save system into the game itself. Looking for a recipe book, which should have a key inside of it. Light switch. I saw you, light switch. Don't hide from me. Ah, flipping the switch didn't do anything, damn house. Note to self. The shadows avoid the electric light. Tonight, one of Mother's shadows caught me as I was walking inside the library. That same day, I had someone fix the electrical wiring, which had been out of service for years. In panic, I switched on the light. The shadow vanished in a scream. Electric light kills them. Okay, so I need to get the lighting working if I want to get rid of her from that room, I suppose. The moon. I would have needed her light here. I remember in the introduction to this game, he stared up at the moon and the moon was, I think, half. About halfway. So not particularly bright. Victims of the Crisis. October 19th, 1934. The body of a 40 years old man was found yesterday morning in the Burns Industrial Area. According to the police, the, the death is the result of severe malnutrition, coupled with massive alcohol ingestion. He is the fourth person to be found dead as a result of starvation this week in the neighborhood, where many factories have closed and the unemployment rate reaches 60%. The authorities seem unable to face the malnutrition and alcoholism issues, and community itself can't take over from the official institutions to face the crisis. The government doesn't seem to have the power to save its own citizens. Or... Maybe it doesn't want to. Unemployment 60%, Jesus Christ. That is an insane unemployment rate. Moonlight was glowing behind these curtains. Oh, this camera angle. I love it. These gashed portraits were not my favorite decoration. Okay, these are creepy. The mother of men, my mother, you allow me to be a man. Oh god, he was so messed up by Margaret. Jesus Christ. Why is everything so black here? It's hard to tell, but it almost looks like there is a fire.
Note to self, she's... Does that say suing? Suing me? It's a little bit hard to read. Her voice is harassing me, blaming me and insulting me because I was not the heir she wanted so much. Margaret is even more harmful in death, and because I am her son, she has always possessed the keys to my mind. I am desperate. How am I supposed to keep a dead person at bay? Oh, camera angles. Maria. It clearly wasn't art, just the fantasy of a murderer. Although disturbing, the knife had a role to play in that tragedy. What tragedy? Geometrical symbols? These shapes gave me a headache. William Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 1. June 18th, 1932. In alchemy, the second of four cycles leading to the incarnation of the mind in the great work, the Philosopher's Stone, is called White Work, Albedo Leucosis. During this phase, the alchemist cleans the matter he has been dissolving and carrying for years in a renewed cycle with water he has distilled three times. This is the time of the moon and the purification of matter by femininity. The water the alchemists obtain is called Alkahest, the universal solvent, the elixir of longevity that puts an end to the little work. Despite my research, I have not been able to acquire a genuine Alkahest. This could be the ultimate cure, the elixir that would save my life. I don't give a damn about eternity. I just want peace. I've brought some materials. Tonight, I will begin my journey towards the great work. I hope to reach the albedo, but this path is very long and very dark. Wait, I'm sorry, what? You're messing around with alchemy? The time of the moon, the purification of matter by femininity? What? I don't even know. I guess that's probably related to the symbols that I... the strange symbols of power I've seen around here. It sounds like he tried to cure himself of his mother's influence and turned to some rather disturbing rituals to do that. Something sharp caused that split it needed the same tool. These portrait of portraits of women, it was like a collection. Because his mother messed him up so much, did he take his anger out on other women? Murder them? Or did he want to use them for some sort of ritual? Rotten materials, again. I had to find the source of that problem. I see a wire going to it, so I can follow that in a second. Reasons for the Crisis, October 18th, 1932. The current crisis is a sickness born from capitalism, from speculation, like a blind madness forged in three sins. Greed, the wealth of the Great War, was jealously kept since 1918 in the safes of those who were wealthy already, and, and didn't benefit the economy or the people. Lack of Experience a weak economic balance was shattered to pieces by the restrictive policies of the Federal Reserve, still too young and unwilling to take bold actions. Fear. By refusing to supply money to the banks in order to encourage spending, the Fed actually was at the origin of the credit crunch, 
which pushed people to withdraw their money from the banks and, in the end, brought the whole system to its knees. The bleeding would cause the system to fail, the crash to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. It could have been avoided. If someone had enough courage to face the few men who were ransacking America. The people should ask Mr. Hoover where he was when water started flooding the ship. I guess they should have asked Mr. Hoover before the dam broke. <clears throat> Could really use some more matches. In fact, I'm going to try to track down this cord right now. Wait, where, where does that go? Loops around, goes... Wait, where does it go? Whoa. Oh. Hello? I'm not answering that. Plug the damn thing in. Oh, God. I'm not gonna open that door. Hell no. Oh, there's another plug. It's already plugged in, so that's good. Where does that go? Whoa. Um. Okay. There's a lamp right there. If I could turn it on, I think I'd be okay. Let's just turn this one on first. Okay. Oh, I can move it around, can't I? Mm-hmm. Irina. Virginia. I guess we'll leave it here for now. A strange nostalgic feeling caught me as I watched that stare. Something sharp caused that split. I needed the same tool. Do I? Do you want me to go get the knife? I mean, I can, but why would I want it? Oh god, I'm really running out of matches. I guess I need more knives or something? I don't know. Let me see if I can go turn that lamp on. Oh, I'm pressing the button. Nope, doesn't work. Oh wait, the switch is on the ground? Or... Oh, there we go. Ooh. Electricity had become a very good friend, which became rare. Yeah, it's like she left behind ectoplasm or something. The landlord had crates full of books delivered to him. Again, we're still looking for the recipe book. Ooh, this might be it. Mm-hmm. A key was hidden amongst the pages. It would be extremely useful. Recipes from France and French islands. Tahitian raw fish. Ingredients. Serves six. One pound of sushi-grade raw fish. To okay, I guess I won't read this. <laughs> Green limes, yellow limes. Oh, let's see if I can pronounce this. Poté a du successes. Perfect. Beef. Borgugan. No. Borguagnon. Perfect. Nailed it. Soka Nikois. My French is incredible. I was holding the key tightly, praying that it would be useful. It will. I think I might go to the kitchen. Probably right where I found that note. I'm not sure. 
I really am running out of matches. There's got to be a lot more stuff here, though. There's, I mean, this place is pretty big. So I want to keep taking a look around. Alright, let's take a quick look through here. We should be safe now that she's gone. Unless, unless maybe she's just moved. Wait, what was that? My leg was hurting. It was better to finish it off. Better not to finish it off. Better not to... F Wait, better not to finish what off? Uh, obviously, I need to take a look at the door in a second. Wait, this book... Wait, there's something here. I think I read this. No, I didn't. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 1. December 8th, 1895. It's 4 a.m., and I can't get to sleep. Father is still yelling in his room. Since his delivery company closed, his debts are getting worse and worse. And so are his anxiety attacks. At night, he almost sounds like a beast. They say something in his blood drove him crazy. They say it runs in the family. It's linked to the kids. I don't understand. Mother doesn't want to explain. Sarah doesn't either. I could get whipped, she says. We don't talk about these things in your house. I threatened to hit her. I yelled at her, but she didn't tell me anything. They are treating me like a child. I'm 15. I'm a Venter Cross, a Boston Brahmin. I have a right to know when it comes to my family. I'm 15? Oh, yeah, this was written in 1895. Yeah, this, this was a long time ago. And her father. The father is the one that died from a... Did he die from a heart attack, or did he have a heart attack and that left him very weak after the fact? I can't remember, but there's something about his heart, I believe. Something about having a heart attack. Oh my god. I really need matches. Okay, I don't think there's anything more I need here, so let me just check out that door. And then I will be on my way. Wait. No, no, that's nothing. Never mind. Wait. Actually, does this work now, the switch? No. Didn't think that'd be related to a plug. It's my last one. And it went out? Oh wait, no it didn't. Oh, thank god. Alright. Oh, here's a knife. The skull cracked under the blade. I wanted to vomit. Yeah, whose skull is that? One of the people he killed? Whoever did this clearly had real issues with women. I doubt I can open this. Oh, I can? Oh! Yeah, I don't think I should have opened that. Come to the light! Are we good? Is it still going to be there? It's, it's probably still there, isn't it? Let, let's just test. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she doesn't want me to open it. She, she really doesn't want me to open it. Okay, I have no matches. That's kind of bad. But hey, we have a key. I can use my knife on the portraits, but... Oh, fuck. Uh. Okay, we're in the light. Thank God. Are these matches? Yes, four matches. Thank God. Should I go stabbing the portraits? I mean, what the hell would that accomplish? Why would I do that? I feel like I'm supposed to, but... Let's go try it real quick. Let's just stab it and just see if something magical happens, and if it doesn't, then... Screw it. I had to throw the match away. I needed both my hands. Oh, oh damn it. 
Okay. Do it. Don't think, said the voice in my head. Stick it. The key was in a cookbook. Was it a coincidence? What? I don't think that's related to anything here. Okay, did that accomplish anything? Alright, so that one's already got a knife in it. The one over there that you can't see. This is the only one that doesn't. Do I have to stab all of them? And why would I do that, though? What would that accomplish? Can I take it out if I wanted to? No, I can't take it back out, so it does have to be there. Which means either that's the one that's supposed to be stabbed, or I need to stab this one and the other one. Come on. Let's try the door one more time real quick, just to see if stabbing that portrait has made her not want to scream. Nope, she's still there. Okay, let's go use the key. four more. I wonder if it, like, regenerates if you save. I wonder if this game would completely screw you over and make it so that you can't... Like, what if you completely run out of matches? What does it do? No, it didn't come back. Hmm. I didn't actually mean to light that. Oh, wait. Camera. Summer of 1912. My only family, after father's death. Their voices. Their footsteps. Their lives. I miss them all. Oh god. Is it still back there? I think it's gone. Jesus Christ. It's getting more aggressive. Alright, I think this is what the key's for. Yeah, thank god. The kitchen. Forty matches here? Oh, that is beautiful. It's, it's actually nice to see a realistic number of matches, because if you think about it, a matchbox, it's going to have a lot of matches, you know? I don't want to get too greedy, though. William Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 21. July 9th, 1922. Curse that Volstead Act. It has been a week since Winterstone last got me some bourbon. Even since police seized the Beckford Distillery, the whole city is dry. I will need to smuggle alcohol in the next cargo ship leaving from Anang. That Asian alcohol is burning my bowels, but I have no other choice. It will take weeks. These damn corrupted cops can sleep without a worry. No one is coming out of the dark to attack them at night. Such a stupid and hypocritical paternalism. What's left for the poor? Before taking care of my health, you should wonder if it will make me feel better. I should go out, try to find new contacts. But the shadows will chase me. Outside. And when I'm driving, especially. Who knows what could happen. 
outside and when I'm driving especially. That's exactly what happened to me. Am I William? Am I actually him? I wouldn't be terribly surprised. And he's just... forgotten? The dishes in the sink were now full of life. I don't really want to know what kind of life. There's a note on the ground. Note to self, matchboxes. I placed matchboxes all around the house, in case the electrical wiring breaks down. It really is the last thing I wish would happen. Once a meal, now an offering to flies. Despite its tired look, the fridge was still working. Huh. The kitchen was probably a lively place years ago. Ooh. What is this? Ah! So I can turn the power on in the corridor to get rid of Margaret's shadow. The indicators revealed which of the two light bulbs was lit. Okay. So that's the one I want later, but for now, let's leave the kitchen on. Ugh, the flies. More matches? Oh, apparently there's more matches here. Oh yeah, right on top of the wine. Oh, and there's the other knife. The dagger was used to carve Selena before it was forcibly stuck. I would need to use both hands to remove the blade. Oh, and that's the purpose of the, the knife. I mean, the purpose of the knife. That's the purpose of the light. If I didn't turn the light on, I couldn't get this without using... without having a match in my hand. Wait, wasn't there a note here? I thought I saw an indicator for a note. Oh no, it's the door. I was prisoner inside the belly of a beast. A black and starving beast. What? It looks like there's blood on the door. Look at that. It's hard to tell, given the color, but it looks like blood. Definitely looks like splatters. I don't know what the hell that stuff on the ground is supposed to be. This looks like rotting trash or something. Hmm. This is inconvenient. Switch to the corridor. That doesn't actually accomplish anything here, but that... I mean, this is the corridor where Margaret's shadow is, right? Let's go test that, I suppose. We could also go put the knife where it belongs. This table's in a different place from where it was before. This whole room has changed. Is Margaret Shadow going to prevent me from going back this way? Oh shit, she is. Is she still chasing me? Whoa. I'm creeped out. I think I need to go this way. Out into the corridor where the light is. The door is blocked from the other side. Oh shit. Uh... In that case...
Is there something I can do in here? I mean, I've got the lights in the corridor going. Is there something I could use to break open the boards? The knife obviously isn't cutting it. And if I put this in the center, that just does nothing, right? That's neither of them? Yeah. Maybe I can get past her? I don't see any other way out of here. Oh shit, she's right there. Okay, well if she's there, then I think I can get by her and- Oh, no, wait, wait, where, where the fuck is she? No, let, let's keep running this way. Oh god. Holy shit. Is she gonna follow me? I hope she does. If I can get her to follow me, then I could blast her using this. It's really hard to tell where she is, especially with the camera angles. I think I maybe need to have her follow me. Alright, let's get a fresh match. I don't want her running out when I'm running. I don't see her, so I'm running. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Well, now I can run the opposite way, so that's good. Oh fuck, there's two. That's not good. I think I just died. <laughs> no. <gasps> oh god, my last save was from so long ago. Okay, well, I needed to end the episode anyway, so... <laughs> there's, there's multiple shadows. I didn't know that was the case. I thought she was just, like, teleporting around or something. Huh. Anyway... Yeah, so I'm going to end this episode here, and before I return, I will make up my lost progress and get back to where I was before. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.